I've been trying my best not to think about you But you're stuck in my mind I've been hypnotized by you hey, All the suffering and pain got me feeling so blue Cause when it was us, I was never enough Girl, you got me thinking I was messed up Pushing me down instead of pulling me up So tell me what I'm supposed to do Just to be alright Girl, you got me thinking I was messed up, messed up Goodness, team no sleep, ladies and gentlemen. What is happening with you, brother? God, talking. Man, man, good, good, good to be alive. Good to be six feet over instead man. of six feet under. I love, man, you know, I love rest, that. Rest in peace to my man X, DMX. Oh, big influence, brother. We done man, lost. We done man, lost I, another champion. Lost another one, man. Uh, you know what? I hope he's in a better place, better state. You know, for for his well being as well as for his family. I hope mm-hmm. you know everything works out for him. But I mean, the man was definitely an influence throughout my whole sports career and many others you know he's the hype man get you get you ready to rock and roll and, and get down so you, rest in uh, peace x yeah well, we, we we know exactly what songs we were playing of his <laughs> at every stage of the of the game yeah that 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 man yeah. was definitely uh, unfortunately had them demons uh yep. I, I got yeah. some, some challenges with uh and all this this not, not, not even sports, right? But we're gonna, we're gonna get into that since we talked about it. But you know, hindsight's twenty twenty. I just wish that the hip hop community had, had just uh, rallied around the brother just a little bit earlier when, when they knew mm-hmm. uh, there were some things going on. But we did get blessed with that uh, versus between him and Snoop. Oh my yeah, gosh, that yeah. was so good. That was so. That with him and Snoop, man. I mean, like you said, the hip hop community. I wish they would have. Um, wish they weren't so selfish. Let's be, let's, let's be honest, selfish in the sense in the sense that they didn't have the opportunity to rally around him, and then when they did chance to, it was too late. Yeah. I also think you know the accountability part. I think we get hip hop as a whole needs to take a little bit of responsibility mm. for these things that comes on that comes along because we're not only just losing these one guys that's to the streets and these onesies twosies, we're losing greats. You know, yeah. to dismiss to just frivolous things they shouldn't be you know passing away from you know from whether it be drug overdose or you know violence in the streets or whatnot. We need to. I think the hip hop is now we're maturing. We've been around for now 35, 35 years. We should be a little bit more mature about how we how we move and maneuver. But I mean, you know what? All that comes with time, man. That's all true. that comes with time. That's true. You know, and and, and uh, the lesson learned, folks. Let's take care of ourselves. Let's take care of our yeah. family. Take care of our extended family because we all we all need it. I love what Laura just said. Hold on, let me throw this on here. Laura said, "Check on your people," and Always. that that is that is a good uh, statement right there. But yep. team don't sleep, brother. We talk about sports. Uh, we talk about Man. the uh, the social impact of sport, yes. which can be yes. a very interesting conversation. It's been a minute since we got together, since we mm. since we t- had a conversation. I see you, nineteen forty three, JWH. That's 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 senior right there. We there you we, go. we see I you, see brother. You. Salute always. <laughs> Uh, man, a lot a lot has happened since we got together. A lot has happened. Yeah, man. Uh, we, I know we got our our, our our list of topics, a couple of things mm-hmm. on there that I, I may pivot on. But yeah, I want I want to get the audience in here as well, right? Let, let's have some discussions. Let's let's go ahead and slow it down. Let's get focused. Let's let's uh, mm-hmm. let's let's see what folks want to talk about. There's a lot of things going on today. A lot of things going on this week, next week. But um, 
let me let me start with you. So let, let me set that precedence out there, right? So hopefully the folks that are listening and watching will will contribute and 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 put in any types of questions that they may have they like us to to address. I'm no expert. Montel is the expert. I'm I'm just here. <laughs> I, I, I'm just here working behind the scenes. I'm I'm the Wizard of Oz behind the curtain, right? That that's that's no, all no, I'm doing. No. Don't say you're so short, sure, man. I'm just, I'm just opinionated. That's all. I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not an expert. I'm definitely opinionated. And we need that. Uh, and, and we need that. And, and have some set ways, yeah. So, but I mean, uh, for the greater good, like I said, set the tone, man. Let's, let's start where you want to start, and let, let's let's rock roll from there. Let, let let's start in the middle. Let's let, let's start with some slightly positive. Uh, I'm, okay. I'm rocking UCLA. God dog it, UCLA was close with man. the uh, with the tournament. My daughter goes there, so we we Bruins, man. We. That that hey, game. But you know what? Hey, hey, that game. That game. Was the best game. That was the best game out of the tournament. Period. That, that was that game. That was the baddest. I mean, that should have been the championship game. I felt. Uh, uh, um, the competition was there. The level was there. West Coast was represented big time. Whether yeah. it was you know, uh, uh, Washington and California. The game was the most exciting <laughs> game we've seen in a long time. Everybody was out of the seat. I mean it. It's very rare that you see a game go down to the last second in overtime. Literally, and the guy, and the guy, I mean, he made a great shot. I mean, it is what it is. The man made a great shot. But I'm saying, I think that was a, that was a platform for West Coast college basketball that everybody in the country was standing up watching. That's a, set our best. That's that's a good point, right? So so literally, yeah. you know, we we're emotionally tied to the school. So you know, me, and my daughter, and my wife, we sitting there watching the game. There was silence for probably ten minutes afterwards because <laughs> I just looked at her and I was like, I, I, "There was yeah. nothing that I could say." Uh, <laughs> my, my man hit that shot, which was off the hook. I didn't expect mm. it to go. You were hoping for some overtime, but uh, the fact that the West Coast was represented nicely uh, in the tournament, yeah. and again, I, I, that was probably the best game that, uh, from a college perspective, that we've seen in a long time. A lot of the the old analysts said the same thing, yeah. right? Oh, it's this, a classic. This, it was- this, this game just, you know, had everyone on their seats and high mm-hmm. energy, not a lot of uh, interference from officiating, right? Mm-hmm. So it, they just let they just let the boys play. There, there, was, there was a lot of physicality, but uh, they, yeah. they let the boys play. But to be honest with you, I don't think that. Um, I'm 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 a, I'm a Bruins guy, but I don't think UCLA would have uh, fared any better if they had beat it to the game. Because because yeah. Baylor, let me tell you something, them Bears, <laughs> them Bears. Man, I mean, I think I think Baylor Baylor's team was full of athletes, and I and I and I don't I don't I don't I don't I don't agree with you or dis, 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 disagree. Mm. I think that Gonzaga game and UCLA game took so much out of either team emotionally. Okay. They going a day later, you know, with a day's rest, you know, happy that we won, but got to prepare for the next team. I don't think either team would have just been ready. Not that it wouldn't have fair. I think if, if all else slates and everything's clean, I'm not saying Baylor wouldn't win, but I think it would be a different kind of game. That game, that UCLA game, Gonzaga game, took so much emotional true, emotions true. out of the fans. I mean, I was tired after the damn game, and I'm not even playing. You know, going you, up and down, you didn't even cheering. have to suit up. <laughs> I'm tired, and I'm rooting. I mean, my son, we in there rooting, we jumping up and down. Yeah. We, oh, so the game was so emotionally, I think, emotionally draining for each team. Whoever Baylor was going to play, they was going to have the up advantage because they blew their team out. They blew Houston out. Ready to? I blew. Yeah. I forgot who they played. Um, they blew them out. I think it was Houston. Was it Houston? I think it was, or, I think it was Houston. Yeah, I think it was Houston. Yeah, yeah they, they they blew Houston out, and then they were just sitting back, basically waiting. I mean, I don't know if anybody just plays sports. I know a lot of people play sports, but you know, if you're in that competitive game and you're on those emotional highs, lows, and all everything in between, and for you to just when you win, you only get an hour to celebrate, or two hours to celebrate. Now I got to prepare for the championship. That's hard. That there's no, there's no, there's no. You're still reminiscing and saying, "Man, I can't believe we won that game." Look, <laughs> child, you know, you're still trying to, you're trying to, to grasp, your, or wrap your head around that, and then now we got to go and play this team, and this team was a joke, and I so. I don't think emotionally they were both on the, on the same level. I think Gonzaga was exhausted and Baylor was at a, at a high. And yeah. Baylor, it showed in the game. It just That's showed true. in the game. Yeah. Um, and and uh, no no disrespect, Baylor. Baylor, I think they might have won anyway. I think they're a great team. I'm glad Texas won. We're still kind of somewhat on the West Coast, or at least, you know, on this side of Mississippi. But, I mean, um, I believe that uh, that emotion, man, that emotion just took so much out of either one of those teams going there. Um, that it was going to be a hard feat for everyone. But back to your point, West Coast basketball from the Sweet 16 on up 
We was representing a strong Pac-12. Yes. Showed, I believe they showed that they're, 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 they're the elite conference now for college basketball if we're going to base it off the tournament. So isn't that crazy, um, though? Because that that has never been well, – that hasn't been the case for a long period of time. So how, so tell me about that, right? Think, tell me about yeah. that whole dynamic change, right? So we, we've gone from the Syracuses and the, and the Georgetowns and, and, yeah. and some of those. So now we're looking at – what? We're looking at UCLA? We're, we're looking at yeah. all these uh, left coast teams. Talk to me about that I, from your perspective. I, I believe Gonzaga set the tone for that. I mean – let, let's let's keep it real. You know, we used like you said, it was the Big East at first. Mm-hmm. You know, the St. John, Syracuse, Georgetowns. Then it then it migrated down to the ACC. You know, mm-hmm. Wake Forest, North Carolina, those guys. Then it kind of migrated a little bit more to the South. You know, where we had the Houston, the Fly, Samuel Jam, and all them. And now with the dynamic and the platform kind of even out with everybody leaving early and all that, I think the schools like the small schools like Gonzaga, St. Mary's, they kind of set the tone to graph those kids for four years and run programs. I believe the elite programs are like, hey, we kind of we can we can do that with some more elite guys that can play. So now the Oregon's you see are doing it. Um, I, you saw you saw the Oregon State's doing it. You saw UCLA, USC. Um, hopefully the Arizonas get their stuff right together to go. <laughs> I believe I believe the Pac, but I believe the Pac-12 man is we have so much talent on the West Coast, and we migrate with that with a few of those boys from the Midwest and everything that want to come out to the West Coast and now participate. Cause Suggs for for Gonzaga's from Minnesota. Midwest boy, he's he came over to, to Gonzaga to play, to do his thing. So now they're starting to migrate. Where they were trying to migrate back east, mm-hmm. I think they're now starting to migrate back west. And now the competition is getting good, competition is getting better, and I think we, we're, we're, we're definitely representing ourselves in the tournament. I, I see a repeat hopefully next year. I hope it's a repeat next year. And we so? can't forget about Stanford, the little girl, the, the girls. Man. I, just say, I'm a, I don't mean to say little girls. That's sorry, man. <laughs> Hey, right, right, right. Y'all saw that was him. I, I ain't yeah, that was it. me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I, I can't edit girls. that out. We live. You know, I can't edit but that I out. But I mean, the, the girl, the girls. I caught myself though. So, <laughs> <laughs> but the girls tournament, man. Shout out to Stanford for winning. Yes. Uh, you know, they they got. I mean, and I don't know if anybody watched their game, but I'm so proud of the, the of girls basketball, and women's basketball at the collegiate level, where they took a negative and swung it to a positive. Where they had the big fiasco with the weight room, um, they got that. They got that resolved. And they were able now to put their game on the national platform. They were the team that they were the star on that Sunday of the primetime game on Sunday on ESPN. It wasn't a men's game. It was the That's women's, the women's yeah. championship. Yeah. So they're, start, they're starting to get their shine. And I'm, I'm very proud because I don't know if anyone watches basketball. If you don't mind, if, you, if all you want to see is dunks, men's is the way to go. But if you want to see execution in basketball, yeah, if you want women's to see some, basketball some is the lick. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> women's basketball is the ticket because they, they, they execute to a T. They got yeah. they got true ballers out there, man. I I, I was just I'm just very happy that uh they they're, they're getting their shine, man. I, and yeah. I hope it just continues. I love. It. Hey, I, I've been a fan of women's on the women's side too ever since the the Monarchs, the Sacramento Monarchs. It's too bad that mm-hmm. they're not still around because uh, I, I've gone to a number of their games and just the atmosphere in the room is completely different as well. Not just the team, but the whole crowd is behind the game. Mm-hmm. So, so I love that, but yeah, Stanford came through and did what they needed to do. So, so shouts yeah. out to, shouts out to Stanford out there for doing they yeah, thing. Absolutely, got man. <laughs> we got, we got one of them titles on the West coast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Breaking news, breaking news, moving on to the next thing here. I, I was trying to delay, see about the Masters, because, uh, you know, that that's the conversation that, that's happening as well. Uh, the Masters just wrapped up. Uh, Hideki uh, Matsuyama from Japan won. Yes. Oh, my Good. goodness. Long time man. wait. Japan has never had a winner of the green jacket. Uh, this hey. man came from, uh, I'm not going to say nowhere, but this man came from the middle of the pack and just now uh, clinched the the title and is putting on his red, I mean, his, his green jacket right now. The first male golfer from Japan to win yeah. a major championship. Now, didn't that. didn't his, his back nine yesterday set the record? He set a record for back nine for no, he had no... No bogeys. Everything yeah. was either par or above, right? He said his back nine was everything was a par or above. Yeah, he was he, he was he was balling out. Everyone else was uh was slipping and sliding in the rain, right? <laughs> Falling down the hills, uh bogey, double bogey, we're doing whatever, right? Just just not playing, playing like like yeah. I play. Uh <laughs> but Mr. Hideki was over here trying to trying to win. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, shout out to the man. Think about this—the ramifications behind this. Yeah, he's so yeah, he's got his green jacket. Yeah, he's got the title. But I've heard rumors, or I've heard statements, upwards of billions of dollars 
that he mm. is now going to start becoming the recipient of just again because him being the very first him doing it so well he he only won by one stroke he was uh 10 under and uh u.s player zalatoris was nine under uh spieth mm. was seven under so you know it, it was close he, they, they closed yeah. the gap but again he won what's this 11 million dollars was the, was the total purse oh my goodness yeah but 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 <laughs> I think what l- listen, I, I agree with what they're saying. Remember what Tiger Woods did for golf for African Americans? Yes, that's that's, that's where I'm a, going. That's exactly where opened, I'm going. He yeah. opened up a whole new door. Yeah. Now this man, this man is the first Japanese. I think he's native Japanese or Japanese American mm-hmm. to be able to open that door now for their community. For now, demand them. I mean, not only in that country in Japan, he's going to sell crazy. He's going to sell crazy here, and I'm so happy to do it because with all this stupid racial tension going amongst Asian and Asian community. I'm glad now they got a champion. They got somebody they can put a face on. They got a hero they can kind of look at to now that's yeah. com- competing in the, in the sports world. I'm all for man. Kudos to I don't know how to pronounce his last name and I don't want to hack it up but Canudo, kudos to the man. Yeah. Congratulations on winning the, the Masters. I love that title, the Masters because <laughs> he's, 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 running, he's running it now in golf. So. I, 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 always, I always love the Masters when, when Tiger won it. God damn it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But hey, this dude, the decade, 25 yeah. years young, uh, he's been close. He's been so close a number a number of years. I kind of watched some of his some of his history, but he finally got over that hump. Mm-hmm. Uh, and you know, no controversy, no nothing. Uh, yeah. r- rain issues yesterday, and he and he came out and balled out. Everyone he else can- fell down. Uh, yeah. Man, you you, you got to get him. T- I'm not. I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm almost positive man. his back nine set a record because he had he he had no. He, there's no bogeys. He said everything was in par or above, and that's never been in the back nine in the in the Masters. And that's how he made his big. They they made his big mark. If I'm not mistaken. Um, you might not, you might not have called me up, but I thought I was reading that. I read that this morning somewhere. Yeah, so yeah, I was trying to check check on the news, the, but uh... the, 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 man, good for him, man. I'm I'm so happy that he won. And I, I, again, remember, it's been a dark cloud over the Asian community, man, with all this violence. Yeah, this is a ray of light, man. This mm-hmm. is a ray of light for them. Um, and I, I'm more, I'm so happy that they got something positive to look at, look at. And like I said, someone more, somewhat of a role model to to the, to the youngsters in that in that Asian community, especially for J- Japanese. It's a win-win all the way around, I believe. So let's talk about that. So let's let's bring in the, the social impact, right? So again, that's what we talk about. And, yeah. and, and again, uh, we we'll we'll typically see uh, the NFL. We'll typically see mm-hmm. the NBA kind of rally around their stars when there's social injustice and there's social issues that are happening. Now, yeah. I, I think again, it's 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 unfortunate, but it's a perfect storm, right? Again, uh, mm-hmm. Hideki has won this this major tournament. Uh, is is now going to be ESPN all night long. He's going to be on CNN mm. just for the fact of who he is and what he has done. Yes, I would love to see golf, which is typically a non inclusive sport, non inclusive type of environment, try to mm. wrap around and bringing some positive light to what this man has done at this particular time as well. Right. I, I would love yeah. to see a, I'm a tiger woods kind of marketing campaign with Hideki, yeah. right. To, to, to yeah. again, rally and to, and bring up so positivity, especially for the youth because the youth are always, it should be at the forefront of our conversation to make sure that they're doing well. So I, I, I say, I would say we challenge the golf Society mm-hmm. and, and the golf uh, community and whoever his uh, his his new marketing and and sponsorships yeah. are because because your boy is going is going to get some get some get him some yen he's going to be and okay I, and, I, and I hope he's prepared to, to kind of take that role as well to be yeah. that that figure yeah. um, he's young he's young so I'm sure he's young and he's got a lot of energy and he's got a lot of a lot of enthusiasm about about, about doing things like this. I hope he's willing to take that face mm-hmm. because it's a face that's very much needed in that community. I mean, they're they're dealing with a lot, man. You know, they, they we got to remember the president of the United States blamed them for corona for the virus, not yeah. Japanese per se, but Asian yeah. the Asian community period, yeah. which has sparked all these these violent acts Total. against them. Um, I, I would hope that the PGA would throw some money behind that, and this young man is ready to be in the forefront and and be an advocate to stop the violence against Asian communities and. Welcome them. Welcome them in all, in all our communities, man. They just like us. They're people just like we are. That's it. You know, they, they they want the same things we want. They want the best for their families. They want to be able to provide for their families, and they want to be able to live a happy life. Same same thing all around. All around. I hope this young man is ready to take that face and 
Let them know that man, everybody embraces them, and you know, stop, stop all this nonsense against. The, the, stop the all this man. nonsense, folks! Y'all yeah, better man. pay attention. <laughs> Brother Montel is over here preaching to y'all. Stop all uh, this man. nonsense. Uh, let me, let me. I need to take a break. Look, first of all, let me, let me, let me tell you something. Again, I told you this behind the scenes, but I, it's, I've been. It's hectic, your boy. I'm sweating and doing, been yeah. driving around all, all over, all over to Sacramento, trying to do some things for the, for the kids. Uh, I, I'm drinking. I normally don't drink while I'm. Yeah, I do. Um, <laughs> I was say while I'm live, but folks, how y'all doing online? Talk to us. We got we got obviously some more things that we want to, want to cover. But again, we want we want to engage. We want to we want to slow the pace down. We we want to actually have some engagement with folks. Uh, this this isn't just a. Uh, um, PTI kind of thing, pardon the interruption or, you know, a yeah. real quick hit. Don't, 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 don't get them no plugs, man. They don't need no extra plugs. They need to be plugging us. Uh, for real, um, for real. No, I, I truly believe, man, I, be, I just believe that uh, we got to, you know, society, I'm glad sports is kind of that uh, that glue that holds, you know, communities and societies together. Mm-hmm. Something, something that we, we all rally around as a culture, in the United, in, at least in the United States, even around the world. Um, we, we rally around sports. And I believe there's always pivotal moments. And like I said, this this young man has won the Masters. Being young, being Asian, being of Asian descent, he's he's about to be embarked on a platform. And I, like I said, I hope he's ready for it. But he's, he can make he can make change. That's yeah. what I'm trying to say. He can actually make a change I just in the way people view things. I just thought so. You the know? Olympics are in Tokyo. Yes, I, you, you know, you know, <laughs> opening ceremonies, folks. Mark my words, uh, April 11th, 423, James Hicks said it. He will be carrying the torch at near the end of the of the uh, opening mm-hmm. ceremonies. He will be probably the, the guy who, who literally lights it uh, in, in the uh, string yeah, of folks. Yeah, so yeah, it, this is that big. This is that big, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, he, he, he's, he's, he's in a position to make change, you know, like uh, like so many other athletes are. But he, this guy's really um, – he's embarked on something new, man, and I'm excited for him. I'm really – I hope he takes the sports world by storm and, and, and just changes the narrative, just like Tiger did for us, yep, yep. for African-American people. When he took over our story, it changed the narrative. I ain't never seen so many brothers want to play golf when Tiger was playing Look, golf. I got me some. I got me some clubs. <laughs> I picked them up two or three times. <laughs> and, and some shoes. Yeah, yeah. I, and, I, and, man, I'm I'm a hacker. I tear the golf course up. I'm not, I'm no good. But, I'll be out but there swinging would, like I'm swinging a baseball bat. I don't know what yeah, I'm doing. Yeah, I would I would never go out to golf if it wasn't for Tiger. I mean, listen, for yeah. Tiger Woods, and, and uh, I mean, uh, there was a, a, a Pete. Pete was before Tiger Woods. Uh, mm. Golf Calvin Pete. Calvin Pete was a golfer okay. before Tiger Woods. Okay. African American. He was there first, and then Tiger Woods, you know, won the Masters. But like I said, those guys are pivotal. Um, very pivotal in 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 rallying and making change. Man, whether he wants to or not, he's about to make a change that's going to affect his whole entire Asian community, Asian American community yeah. or whatnot, because he won a sporting event. He's going to be the face of it. So salute, man. I'm yeah. can be more proud. That's true. That's true. And, uh, speaking of Tiger Woods, you know, there, there was some more news that came out about his accident. Uh, yeah. the brother, at, at, at least, at least he wasn't drunk. Right. At, at least he wasn't doing anything. He wasn't supposed, at least he didn't have no substances in him or on him or whatever case, but he was just, he was speeding. Okay, mm-hmm. the brother was speaking, so you, you know better. Don't do it. Yeah. Um, uh, but I, I mean, does he? I'm mean, let's, let's let's be real. Yeah. Why is he? Why does he have to face public scrutiny for basically speeding? He lost control and he crashed. He didn't crash. He didn't hurt anyone, but but himself. Yeah. Yeah, the potential to hurt someone, and I get that. But I'm pretty sure he learned his lesson now that he's lined up in the hospital with these cast on <laughs> and all that good stuff. He, he's, why facing, he, he's facing scrutiny because he's been in this same situation before. That's 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 but, why we all cringe when we heard, oh no, Tiger Wood got into another accident. Oh, yeah, but God. I mean, he was, like you said, he was. I mean, he said he wasn't. Al- yeah. he was, there wasn't alcohol. There was no drugs involved. There was nothing. He was probably tired, trying to head home in that windy hill area. Mm-hmm. Lost control, speeding, and crashed the car. I get that, but let's be honest. There's been many athletes, many athletes <laughs> of a of a lighter shade yeah. that's done done, done things like this, and they're not in public scrutiny. They're not in a public eye like that. They're not crucified like that under the media. Or there's not always like we got to investigate what's going on. Man, mm-hmm. the, the man had an accident. He suffered from his injuries. Let's move on. Yep. Because there's more important issues going on in sports than Tiger Woods crashing his car. Okay. You no, know, let's let, let's let that man heal. 
Okay, okay. You seem like you want to deviate now. You you want to you want to go deeper into the into the agenda. But I I completely agree with you. But I, I yeah, wanted yeah. to bring it up because uh, you know I I like to instigate conversations and and mm-hmm. uh, I, I wanted to get opinions out uh, from, from that perspective. Uh, yeah. We started with some 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 good news. We started with some decent news. We started with some positive stuff. Um, we got a lot of bad news going on too, brother. In, yeah, in the yeah, world yeah. of sports, uh, let's let's go ahead and, and and stop and be serious for a minute. Philip Adams, yeah. he uh, he was cornerback for the 40, uh, 49ers for a number of teams. I think he paid for six yeah. or seven teams. Yeah, uh, this 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 man has had something going on definitely in his life. He he went went out and and killed a number of folks, six seven people. I think I just saw a story that another individual who was at the scene actually lost their life. Mm-hmm. Um, Robert Shook dies from sh- from shooting by ex NFLer Philip Adams, so that's the sixth victim to die. Um, and then he shot himself, right? So yeah. so so then Philip Adams shot himself. What what's going on now? I believe the family uh, has decided to turn Philip's brain over to science to mm-hmm. see what happened, right? What yeah, to try, if, try, CTE, try to get some, try, yeah. trying to get some insight turn in it from, yeah, from if, head if, trauma if, and things of that nature. Yeah. Right? If CTE was a fact affected his affected his situation. Um, I hate to, you know, kind of like the late, the late great junior say out. Yeah. Um, yeah. Dear, dear met him before once met, I know his okay. family. Okay. Uh, Junior, you know, may so rest in peace. But I mean, I, we didn't know that those things were going on with Junior at all. You mm-hmm. know, the symptoms and everything didn't know. Um, the CT has came so far since Junior's passing and they were able to do it with him. Hope that they can find something that was going wrong with Philip Adams to see if there was an issue with CTE or what was causing him to act erratic like this or be depressed or whatever his emotions were going that way. Um, and that's not a, that's not a, that's not an excuse for what he did. Yeah. Um, I believe... I, and this is my true belief. I don't. I'm not sure. I don't really care if anybody likes me about it. In my opinion, and not on this one. But if you're are smart enough and are thoughtful enough to go buy a gun, then you're thoughtful enough and smart enough to be as faced accountabilities when you use that gun in the actions, especially in the part of a crime. So I would never say that his his uh, his situation excuses excuses him from what he did, but it kind of gives us more insight to maybe why um, and why what's causing these things these things to happen. Um, and it's happening a lot in a lot of football players. Um, the NFL um, excuses a lot of NFL, a lot of these men, young men from getting treatment because they don't pass a certain protocol, even when they're having ailments or situation like that. I think that needs to open up and make sure that everybody, these young men are able to get that, get help they need. Remember, because he played in the NFL doesn't necessarily mean you're rich. So that doesn't mean he has access to any doctor or anybody he wants to. He may need help in order to get the, get that, get that, information he needs and get the help he needs in order to solve those things. That's a good point that you make there, right, brother? Right, yeah, yeah. right. Everyone comes into the sport at the professional level, has 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 funds and they have whatever, but again, he, he was 32 years old when, when, when he passed, when, when, he, when he shot himself here now, but not everyone, again, has all of that access to some, mm-hmm. of, the, some of those some of those advanced services and things like that, and <clears throat> Hindsight again, being twenty twenty, could we have seen this ahead of time? Were, were there signs? How many mm-hmm. times did he have a concussion? Right? How many times did he did he get that jarring hit to the head, or whatever yep. the case may be? But I'm just going to read. You know, unfortunately, the tragedies of this. So, uh, a, a doctor and his wife, seventy and sixty nine years old, uh, their grandchildren, a nine and a five year old, were found dead inside of the home, while James Lewis, thirty eight who was also working at the home was shot and killed outside. And then, uh, they, they found Philip Adams at his mother's house, uh, with the self-inflicted gunshot wound. So, I mean, uh, there's no, I mean, God rest. I mean, God, yeah. please bless those families that are affected by this. Uh, no one deserves this. No one does that. Um, and he, the man was wrong. 100%. Philip Adams, whatever the situation is, whatever he was, he should have been, I, I wish he was able to deal with it in mm-hmm. a way that was amical or civil and not have to, felt he felt needed to resort to violence and do those things. Um, but but again, if, if CTE was the cause of it, which we don't know, but if that was the cause of it, uh, I would hope the NFL would open up a little bit more so these young men could get some help that they need. Or there's got to be some type of way, the players union open up some type of way where they can get the help that they need. Um, 
because this can't happen. There's a lot of people that go in the NFL. They play for six years, and they have head trauma, and they have CT. Yeah, and that's the reality. They do have it, but everyone doesn't react the same way Philip Adams does, obviously. But I mean, where 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 does someone like that that's severely severely suffering from this thing gets help from? You got to understand, you know, this man was in, he was probably the epitome of his family and his career because he made, he actually made it to the league. Right, he's right. held up this, this, he's held up such this, this high standard. And then he's no longer there. Remember, the checks are no longer coming in. Um, things start to become a depressive matter like that. It's for some reason around, I don't know what happened in that, but he, he resulted to this, man. And it's just so unfortunate. It's just, it's just a, it's one of those tales and one of those stories, man, you just don't ever want to read about or hear about. Yeah, it, you never you never want to hear about this, especially well anyone. But then when when you got kids involved too, I mean, so yeah, that, 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 that's always the toughest part as as well. You know, we we take that to heart because we're we're parents, but no, we're we're humans, right? So so we mm. take that to heart. But uh, ho- hopefully for some some findings and and, yeah. and and some clarity to 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 again hopefully stop this from happening again. But mm-hmm. it's. It, We'll just leave it at that. We'll just leave it at that, yeah. right? Um, another football story. Another not so good football story. Mm-hmm. Deshaun Watson. Yeah, man. Deshaun Watson oh. has been going through some things for a long. This has been a long time, right? This and, is, and- this has been in the news for a long time. Front page news. There's been mm-hmm. a lot of things uncovered. There's been mm-hmm. a lot of things said, both sides, uh, mm-hmm. all sides, mm-hmm. and yes or no, rightfully yes or no, it's affecting his money now, right? Because because trade mm-hmm. talks have 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 have, have gone uh, have, right. So gone. now now it's affecting yeah. you know his family, his well being, his legacy, and mm-hmm. things of that nature. But uh, you know, so let me let me let you start with it because because I'm gonna interject with a couple of things. But you know, just the whole Deshaun, explain to folks that are that are watching and listening, kind of current state of yeah. what's going on with, with the young man yeah if you haven't heard the Deshaun Watson story he's a, a young man that played quarterback for the Texans um from that situation he requested a trade from the Texans he wanted to go to another team um and in the midst of him being traded and all these things he wanted to command where he wanted to go um Texas obviously wanted him back because he's a great NFL football player and then once they severed their ties Deshaun made it very clear he wasn't going to resign with them um, maybe a week or two later, allegations started to come up of sexual assault. Um, and then it came, it was first, it was one, then it was three. Now it's ballooned all the way to 22 women have claimed sexual assault that he's done um, to various women across, I believe, I'm not, I'm not sure if it's in Texas or all over the place. Um, he hasn't been committed to rape. He hasn't been charged of rape. He's been charged of sexual assault. He's been charged with groping and making inappropriate uh, uh, suggestions or approaches to women. From from what from what's been said so far, um, my question is: is if it's been that span and it's been that long, where are the Texans in this? Because I don't know if anyone knows about the NFL. They investigate and do a great job of figuring out any issue that's going on with anybody in the team, especially a superstar. Mm-hmm. If there is any allegation, they investigate it to make sure it's either true or not true to resolve it. So my question is: where is their accountability for this? And I and I say that because let's 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 not forget, several years ago, Tupac Shakur went to jail for not stopping an assault. He didn't assault a woman. He didn't go. He went to jail mm. for not stopping an assault. Wow! Wow! Well, you bring, so you bring the why is Deshaun story, Watson okay. being why is Deshaun Watson being crucified? And if the Texans knew about it, how come they are not being tried and tra- in, 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 in in accountable in the media? If they knew Deshaun Watson and didn't do anything to stop it or prevent it. How come they didn't intervene at no point, at any point? So my question is, Deshaun Watson is 100% wrong. If he's making inappropriate accusations and groping women without their permission, that's wrong. He should be held accountable for that. But I'm saying, where are the Texans, if they knew about this, which I'm pretty sure they probably knew because they hear rumors like everybody else, and 1-2, 22 is a whole different story. They've heard something about this situation. How come they didn't do anything to prevent it? So where is their account before? How come no one's talking about the Texans in their, in their front office? How come they didn't do anything to do this? As a matter of fact, Texans gave him a massage table. They gave Don Sean Watson a massage table. This, yeah. man, this man obviously has been, you know, been had accusations about him groping women during massage sessions, and you give him a massage table? That kind of makes no sense to me. So 
I'm wondering, like I said, where their accountability is. I believe Deshaun Watson will be tried, tried in the in in the court. That that's their job to be able to do that if he's if he's guilty or if he's innocent or whatnot. Um, but I do believe we need to look on the other side, the bigger brother or the people that own own the organization. How come they didn't show any accountability for it? If they knew anything about this, they should have been able to intervene, talk to Deshaun, and make sure he doesn't have he doesn't do this inappropriate behavior anymore. Yeah. So I leave I leave that kind of that, that's kind of where I'm at with it. What about you? What about you, James? You know, I'm I'm I I would rather see all of the information come out before getting mm-hmm. uh, the, the the court of public opinion. To be honest with you, because mm-hmm. a lot a lot of times uh, we'll do that and we'll we'll be incorrect because we don't know all the stories or we don't know all the situations. We don't know what happened in in that man's. Um, situation in that man's massage room mm-hmm. where, where all of these uh 22 clients are are are, are these 22 women are, are, are having issues with right so I, I i'm going to hold judgment or anything and who am i to judge I, i'm i'm yeah. going to, i'm going to hold anything until it comes out till we hear from him till we hear from from the women as well and and the situation come, comes about um but but, if, but i mean Jay, i do have a question for you before you go along. i have yeah. a question for you do you find it odd then all of a sudden these accusations came as soon as he told the Texans he was not going to resign with them at no point. You know what? Nothing, nothing, uh, nothing surprises me much anymore with, with, with a lot of stuff. And there, you know, there, 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 there's a possibility. <laughs> I, I'm stammering. I, I normally don't stammer, right, brother? You know, you got your boy over here stuttering and stammering. You know what happened? Mercy. <laughs> I, um, I'm just going because I don't want nobody coming through on me <laughs> saying something. Uh, I, 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 I mean, I'm let, just so, being, let me, so let me put you, uh, so yeah. Oh, so, ahead, I, so, so I'm gonna say this. I, I I think it's interesting again that 22 situations come up one right after the other. Right when when the man says, "I no longer want to be part of the squad." Mm. Timing is 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 mm. uh, is is, 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 is an issue, right? I mean, they're. they're uh, circumstance, coincidence, that's the word I'm looking for. Coincidence, yeah, I don't know about a whole bunch of coincidence. Somebody knew something and somebody knew about what was jumping off. Agent, but, 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 GM, yeah, this is the reason why trainer. This is the reason why, yeah, yeah, this but, is the reason why I said it. How did they find 22 women all of a sudden in this situation right when he says no? Yeah. And so, and it, so, so I'm, I'm gonna throw the caveat on there again. Maybe yeah. there was there was one or two, and and they were talking behind the scenes. And next thing you know, I, I don't know. There was a there was a, a group text, group chat, group me, whatever the case may be, and everyone got together. Again, I can't even look straight at the camera. I got to look this way. You know, the camera's right here. I can't even look at the camera saying it. I'm just going to start. I'm going to start. Well, I'm going to stop waffling. I'm going to say again, I think I think it's I think it's pretty tough that all of these situations come out at, at a particular time. Right. When this man says he no longer wants to be a part of your team. He was the, the franchise player. He was the man behind the behind the behind the center call and plays, things of that nature. You put a lot of trust and faith and money into him. And now he says he doesn't want to be here anymore because we're not winning. And then things start showing up. They may be true. They probably are true. Uh, but again, somebody knew about this way ahead of time before dollars and cents got into the situation. Somebody knew yeah. about this when there was actually real physical, emotional harm done to e- either side. And that's when mm-hmm. it should have been brought up, as opposed to when it, when it was an opportune opportunity, opportune opportunity for the mm-hmm. the organization itself. There you yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I'm a kind of relay go. on that. I'm a I'm a keep it more. I'm a keep it more ghetto. You gonna bring it? You okay. you gonna bring the streets back? You know, I'm I'm trying to. Brother, I, <laughs> I will be more ghetto with it. It's it's real. It is very very. And wait, wait go ahead. Say what you want to say. Let me, let me start with the NFL. The NFL drop whatever you want to say. <laughs> <laughs> NFL invest. I mean, come on. The NFL knew about uh, the the owner of the Patriots when he was at the at the at the um. Oh yeah. The, oh yeah. Soliciting. Kraft they was out there doing his thing. Out. Yeah, Kraft was out yeah, there yeah. doing some. Kraft dirt. was out there soliciting pros- prostitution. Period. Let's call it what it is. He got off of it. Mm-hmm. However, he got off of it, but he was doing that. They found out about that. Now they if they if the NFL can find that out about a billionaire. <laughs> That is very, very. That is very crafty about what he does. Uh, you mean to tell no me name they didn't pun know intended? <laughs> yeah, you mean to tell me they didn't know anything regarding Deshaun Watson's behavior going on in this, in in Houston, where I'm sure teammates, uh, security people, investigators are all about that. So, with that being said, I just find it very, very, very peculiar 
when he all of a sudden says, you know what, I no longer want to be a part of the franchise, I don't care about how much money you offer me, that all of a sudden we're saying, well, if you're not going to make no money for us, you're not going to make no money for nobody. Not gonna make no money and here it nobody. goes. Here it goes. We'll, we'll spill every tea that's been going on you. Now, again, don't get me wrong, ladies and gentlemen, if Deshaun Watson did it, he needs to be held accountable for doing that. Yeah. I'm not I'm not excusing that. But I'm saying don't 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 crucify this man all in the media and do all these things when they knew about the same thing he was doing and did nothing to stop it. There that's a problem. That's a bigger problem than anything. They knew about it and they did nothing to stop it. They let him continue with that behavior as long as he's making money for them. Wow. As long as he was a star for wow. quarterback. They did nothing to stop it. It's okay for him to do it. But now you're not. We're going to make sure we bring all of this dirt on you. I have a problem with that. Mm-hmm. I, I have a know. big problem hey, with that. that. Make it plain, brother. So, make it make it so, plain. That's, so, that's so, a good point. I mean, if people out there don't like what my opinion. I get it. If you don't agree with me, I get that too. Yeah. The way that I look at it, it just looks real, real shady how everything just gets released all of a sudden when this man says, I don't want to be a part of your organization no more. Now, all the dirt starts, all the mud starts slinging. And, and, and the crazy part, the only person that's being affected is the victims and Deshaun. Where's the organization that knew about this, that pays Deshaun, that knows about it? Where's the organization that helped either cover, cover it up or smather it or make sure it go away? It didn't do anything. Where? How come they're not being held accountable? Yeah. yeah. Just as much. Yeah. We, um, every other day, something's coming out, right? Uh, for and, or, and against Deshaun. Yep. Uh, so yeah. I, I'm not sure I'm, I'm looking at a story. I don't think there's any real court dates set up right now. I just know that there's 22 civil regardless. It's now a certainty that his money would never be the same. Be, his money, his money yeah. would never be the same ever. Yeah. Ever. And he's trying to settle all of them, right? All, all of these 22 situations. So again, yeah, his, yeah. his, his, his long-term, um, balance. But even signing with another team, I mean, you got to think him going to another team, it's going to be difficult for them to sign another team because he's a PR nightmare at this point. You know, it's a PR nightmare. If he brings, if you bring him on, the people that believe the women are on the women's side, you're a person that you know does is convicted or is at least in public eye convicted of sexual assault or committing sexual assault. So how do you cover that up as an organization trying to bring him on? No, I so well, I, I I wonder about that as well. So yeah, everything yeah. that he's 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 accused he's of built, and possibly yeah. is done is wrong. However, yes. there are folks that have done way worse and it has been either filmed, recorded. Uh, I'm, I agree. I, I'm not think, I'm not talking about Rice. I'm talking about the the dude, the white man. Your boy, Ben Roethlisberger? No, talk about not, him? Not, no, not him. <laughs> ben at the fool. Man, God. I'm, I'm, <laughs> God. Hey. Ben need talk to about, stop going I'm to the man. club, man. God, man. There, and just, just worry there's, about there's throwing. There's been worse situations, but I'm saying those worst situations are the ones that got over and got out of it. A lot of them are our color. I'll just keep it plain. They're well, so color. and and, and hey. so I, I was throwing the caveat to that, right? And and mm-hmm. the the one again, the one white linebacker who recently who beat up his girlfriend, yeah. his black girlfriend, yeah. mm-hmm. worse because it, it you don't put your hands on a woman and you just don't. And mm-hmm. there was video, there was audio, there was. Uh, Hospital reports. You know, we saw the 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 damage that that he yeah. inflicted on her. I don't hear yeah, nothing but, about. But, it. but but see, but see what they've done, and this is the, the mass cover up from the NFL and the media. Hey, but we'll cut him from the team and let him disappear off the sunset. Let the law handle that. They won't talk about that. But Deshaun, who they know is a person that's going to be a multi million million dollar maker for those organizations. Yeah, we're going to splash him all over and make sure. We tarnish him. Tarnish him. I'm sorry. I, I know there's animal lovers. Mike Vick, what he did, I know it was a crime. I know it was bad for animal lovers and, and, and people that do that. But Mike Vick didn't deserve to lose everything over those animals. I don't believe. My, that's my opinion only. Mine only. Mm-hmm. I don't mm-hmm. expect it. Right. Mm-hmm. So this man right here, again, sexual assault, very wrong. He'll be tr- tried a criminal. But he's going to lose everything. And I mean not everything. He'll probably get picked up by another team and get a chance to resurface and make some millions. But he'll never be making the hundreds of millions that he was going to be able to make if they would have just let him go to another team. Deshaun was going to sign a record contract. Yeah. It, it, it's almost That's, like a Jameis Winston thing, right? So, because Jameis yeah. Winston acted a fool to said a lot yeah, of things yeah. that, I mean, brother, you can't be, you, yeah. you, you can't be saying some of the things that you're doing. You can't be stealing crab legs and you can't. But, but a, a, let's keep then, it real. Drew, Drew. Drew Brees can say something out out of pocket about Black Lives Matter. That's He's kind of where, that's that's exactly where yeah, I was going. Yeah. So that was literally yeah, yeah. coming out of the side of my neck yeah, yeah, just yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Was... He, he can say something out of pocket, and I love Drew Brees. Don't get me wrong, I'm a, I'm a Drew Brees fan, mm-hmm. but he can say something out of pocket, and his money's going to be always fine. 
Um, other players, uh, the great Brett Favre said stuff out of pocket. He was fine. They 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 can get away with it and do things and be out of pocket and still be okay. Ben, I know Ben's Roethlisberger's your, your, your guy at Pittsburgh, but Ben's done some outlandish mm-hmm. things no, to yeah. women. No, yeah, yeah, and I, and they I covered they they covered it all the way up, and he still was able to make hundreds hundreds of millions of dollars. I don't think Deshaun Watson is going to be in that same program. I don't think they're going to be. This is going to be a wash away thing because we're in the we're in the era of football where it's big time money for a franchise quarterback. We're not talking about fifty million no more. We're talking hundreds yeah. of million. Yeah. So now, and I and I believe that the Texans are in a situation where they're not going to win. They're not going to sell a lot of seats. We're coming out of COVID, where those guys lost a lot of money in the NFL because there was no fans in the seats. Mm-hmm. Your biggest player is leaving, and I'm gonna be honest: human owners bitter, GM is bitter. You know, well, your, your back. biggest player already left because Watt is already gone. Watt's <laughs> gone, and, and, right. and Deshaun's your face of your franchise yeah. offense, so yeah. he's ready to go. So he's losing everything, and he's crab. He, he grabbed onto this. Uh, again, don't get me missing wrong. If Deshaun did it, he should be held accountable. But I, but I know for a fact. Well, I shouldn't say I know. I'm almost ninety nine percent percent sure the organization knew about it. Yeah, twenty two oh, women. No, they, 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 they knew. When, when, when you're talking dollars and cents at, at this level, yeah. when you're talking they, grown folk money like this, yeah, they, they, yeah. they know, right? He's they got know. he's got handlers. He's got watchers. Everyone. It, Everyone on the on the on the A squad, right? And yeah, everyone yeah. that's taking the first team reps has yeah, has yeah. someone. So, so why would so if you know about something like this, like me, if you me and me know about a crime and we do nothing to prevent or stop it, you know we could be charged with a crime, right? Am I? Yeah. That's mm-hmm. the law. Mm-hmm. Um, but yet they know about a crime, did nothing mm. about it, <laughs> and they're okay. And let's just smear his. Let's just, let's, let's let's launch the smear campaign. You know. Or, or the, in the accusation, like I said, um, uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm following it very loosely about the Deshaun because, like you said, I really want to wait to all the facts. I want to wait till his lawyer gets to court mm-hmm, and they can mm-hmm. settle everything because mm-hmm. that, that brings out everything in that sort of instance. But from what they're presenting, man, it seems like you know one of the girls said she, it wasn't about the money, but yet she texted Deshaun about she wanted to get paid a hundred thousand dollars to keep her mouth shut. It's just so much going back and forth that I don't know what's true or what's not true. Um, but again, if he put his hands on a woman unwarrantly or he made those suggestive comments, you know, Deshaun, he's 100 percent wrong. It, yeah. that, it, that, that's just the facts. Yeah. We'll see. Uh, not not looking forward to reading because just don't like reading all this bad <laughs> news all the time. But, you know, but uh, God, oh, I would love to just have an, an episode where we talk none but good news. None, but, you mm-hmm. know, just, just, mm-hmm. will it ever happen? Who knows with the state of the world, but, uh, yeah. man, this is so m- moving on, but God, mm-hmm. hey, man, some of these stories take, take the emotion, right? Take, take a lot of stress. Oh right? yeah, like, man. That, you yeah, need to, you need to start coming with a drink or something. You, we, we need to start having sponsorships, <laughs> you know, I, yeah, I, man. you know, I do the lab with, with, with tall boy and he's got his minute made. We're not sponsored uh-huh. yet, you know. I, who knows what I could be drinking? Just some dark liquors or whatever the case may be. But uh, we we need uh-huh. to figure out a way to to get uh, somebody to get some sponsorships we'll get, going. We need to get that we need to get that Gatorade that Gatorade power money around we, here. We, 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 need. We, we need to get somebody to come to. <laughs> you know what's that? What's that vitamin water? Is that is not the yeah. one that, that Fifty got? Fifty Cent got yeah, his vitamin. Yeah, man. He was he was down with vitamin water. We need to get some of that, that Coca Cola money. That's all good. So. Um, I, I, shoot, I'll drink some Coke. G- give me cut, cut a check if you want to. Cut it. <laughs> we will drink vitamin water all. I'll, I'll have all it day. laid. I'll have it all over the place too. Uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll, shirt, <laughs> hat, and, and drinking it all at the same time. I'll be they swagged want. out. I'll be. <laughs> oh uh, man, uh, baseball is back. Ooh. Yes, yes, man. I don't care what people you know, look. Let me tell you something. I I love baseball, brother. I grew up. With, I played baseball for all my life. Uh, coasted a little bit. Uh, wasn't too bad. I wasn't too bad. You know, back in the day, it was, it was a long time ago. But you know, <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. You know we, we we've got mutual acquaintances that 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 did some things in baseball too. And uh-huh. I know it's a slower pace game, but there there's the the mentality of it, the the, the mental piece of it. You know, just just the strategy of it. Baseball's back. There's fans in the stands. Tell me what you feel about that, brother. God, I mean, it's a catch twenty two. I'm excited. I'm excited. And this is a catch twenty two. Twenty two is on the back. It's it's on the lighter side on the twenty two. Okay. First side, I'm so I'm happy. Baseball's back. Fans are back. Things are starting to kind of get to that normalcy. 
uh, and, the, and the competitive part of baseball, it, it, it is what it is. I'm happy to see those guys doing it, um, those professionals out there. I believe, me personally, there's nothing like going to a baseball on the afternoon, a baseball game on the afternoon, you know, seeing – Seeing those people drink their beer, eat their hot dogs, and laugh and giggling, and the ball get hit your way, you can try to catch it. Oh, you see, know, they, that's that, cool. You looking at them too? I'm, I'm with my bag of peanuts. Yeah. You know, just just waiting yeah. for someone to get hit in the head with a. With, you better pay attention to these foul balls, you know, God, yeah. <laughs> Now my now my 22 side. What I was saying, the part of this, this 22 is, man, we, we still not over COVID. We're still not there, and somebody, I yeah. think this is still we're still at that period where everyone's not vaccinated. Um, people are still not trying to wear masks. It's, it's a big social event. Mm-hmm. So I'm, I'm, I should say catch them too. I'm just leery and I'm scared of that situation, man, because I don't want to go back to the other way, man, where there's no sports. I really don't. Yeah. I, I want to go. I want fans to continue to be able to go and enjoy and do the things they do. But that part makes me nervous, especially when you see a Texas Rangers game and they're sold out already and things weren't, you know, it, we're not even caught. We're not even, you know, the vaccines aren't caught up and people are not wearing masks. It makes me – it's scary. It's just scary, man, because I don't want to go back to the old way. Yeah. No fans and all that stuff. So – um, but I'm happy it's back, man. I'm so happy to see people out there, people enjoying themselves. I'm not a big – I'm not a big baseball player or, you know, I'm a fan of when, the, when something's hot going on, you know, the no-hitters and all that good stuff and the, the guys hitting home runs. But I'm excited about just the ambience of having baseball back. You know, it's yeah. summertime. If I want to go to a game when I'm not, I don't even care if I'm a fan or not, I go to the game because like, I can see the people there and they enjoying it. And, you know, the grass, you can smell the grass just yeah. big cut and, and the baseball's flying and foul balls and all that stuff. And everybody's standing up for the seventh inning and singing and all yeah. that. See, all those, that stuff, those are the things, yeah, right? So, things, see, man, that, yeah. that's where you break your family to and you're like, seventh inning stretch, <laughs> you know, go get me some popcorn and, and a hot dog and, yeah. and a Coke and it'll be $30. What? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's thirty dollars, but you know what? You better expect to spend that kind of money when you're there. But I mean, it's a, it's always a good moment, I think, in baseball, and it's just great. Like I said, I think that ambiance is great to have it back. I'm hoping that you know everybody gets vaccinated and they can they can fill up again. And that's and I and I I appreciate baseball because they're setting the tone for other sports like basketball, starting yeah. to let people back in. Yeah. Um, football when it comes back, they'll start letting people back in. So I believe baseball has set the tone. I just don't want it to get out of control and wildfire so fast that we're not able to catch up with the vaccines and people get caught with the COVID. No yeah, that's a good point. And, and, you know, I was driving around town today and, you know, some of the little leagues are back, right? So they're mm-hmm. out there and there's a lot of no yeah. mask type folks in my area. And it's mm-hmm. unfortunate because they were, they were out there today uh, or, or the other day when I, when I saw them out there playing and, that that's a problem, right? Because you got your youngsters yeah. out there, and you intermingling with 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 a whole bunch of folks that aren't part of your core unit, and yeah, mm-hmm. you're coughing, spitting, yelling, and doing doing all this, yeah. and w- whatever yeah. the case may be. So, I'm going. I see it. I I would not be surprised if there's a spike just in my county and just in my area, mm-hmm. just because again, yeah, everyone's just ready to get back yeah. to mm-hmm. something. Yeah, and, yep. and and when you know when when the kids were out there practicing, it was cool because it was just them practicing. They still had their mask mm-hmm. on, and the parents were away. But now they're playing, and yeah. everybody's coming. <laughs> and you know, folks are just walking down the street and seeing a ball game going. So, like you said, oh my gosh, yeah. baseball's back! So I want to go check it out. So you, you got all all kind of folks intermingling. But yeah, uh, the the organized piece of the major league sports uh, again, starting with baseball, just because they're the first one in in the calendar year. Mm-hmm. Hopefully they 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 get it right in terms of spacing percentage of folks that they'll let into these stadiums and into these Mm -hmm. arenas and things like that. So that'll trickulate down into uh, basketball and football when that comes back around. But Mm -hmm. just, just getting, and and hopefully the Olympics will learn from all of this, right? Because, because look, man, the world is waiting for that. And we, we would really (laughs) be, we would really be in a hurt just, you know, just, it would just really football, hurt a lot. Football, if we, if Olympics, we yeah. If we had the football in the Olympics because of COVID, you'd be like, man, that wow, the world can't compete against each other yeah. because of COVID. So, uh, like I said, that's my catch-22 on it. It's like, mm. man, I'm glad it's so back. I'm excited, and I'm excited to see everybody playing. And I don't even follow baseball, but I'm excited to see everybody playing. But <laughs> then I look at it, and I'm looking at the stands. I'm like, damn, that's a lot of people when that's with, with, with no mask on or just cheering and drinking just, just beer. Rub, rubbing up on each other, you know. <laughs> yeah. Man, I don't know yeah. you. you know. High, fives, yeah, high fives with the, with the baseball. There ain't no hand sanitizer, none of that going on. So I, I, I'm just like, yo, man, please, please this is, we can't have another outbreak because I do yeah. not want to go back to where there's no fans. I want to keep this momentum going. So I, I just I just hope we're, we're all careful. Um, I agree. I agree. And, and, be, and be good and be, be good, straight and go, ready to go. 
I agree. So talk to me a little bit about your neck of the woods. How's it going since we're talking about the, the vaccines and COVID and outbreaks? Yeah. How's it how's it going down in Southern Cal right now? Uh, we're we're actually dropping. So it's okay. starting to drop now. The tier, I think, I believe even Los Angeles County is going to open up to, I think, the orange tier, which they can have a lot more people this mm-hmm. corner, either the orange or yellow tier. So okay. we're, we're there, there, the drop in, there's a lot more vaccinations. Uh, schools are, are starting to prepare to try to open back up again. Um, I know now the vaccination is now everywhere for, and they're going to approve it for 16 years and older coming up really, really soon. So now student bodies are going to be able to go get it. So I'm all for it. It's, 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 it's something inevitable. I think everyone needs to get ready because this is going to be a permanent thing. I mm-hmm. think it's going to be like mm-hmm. the flu shot, the COVID shot you're going to have to get every year. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, um, it's going to be something every year that you have to get and, 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 and contend with it. I believe uh, for kids that are going to go, going to college, like your daughter and my son, mm-hmm. I think they're going to have to have the vaccination before they step foot on campus. Yep. I think some campuses are already starting that. Rug- yep. Rutgers is like the, the first one already uh, implement. You can't come back unless, until you have the vaccination. So things are slowly but surely starting to happen. Um, Southern California is it's getting better and better. But you know what? It's, it's going to be scary here because what comes with summertime here? People that come vacation in the beach. Yeah. So we yeah. have a lot of you know, yeah. there's a lot of tourism come here. So it may not be the people that are locally here to have it, but it could be somewhere coming from somewhere else and brings it or or we can give it to them and they take it back to where they're going, vice versa. But I mean, we have a lot of tourism that goes up and down, you know, the coastline of, San, of Southern California. So, um, you know, it's cool. It, we just got to deal with it and understand. Yeah. I just hope, hope people just be safe and careful about it. That's true. That's true. Yeah. So y'all y'all folks from from Minneapolis trying to beat the cold. Don't um, why am I picking on my Minneapolis peeps? You know, I, don't don't be going to L.A. area and and, and spreading <laughs> spreading the COVID around. Don't 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 do that. Don't do that. Nah, if you got if you got to stay where you at, stay where <laughs> stay, you at, man. Stay don't, in the house. Don't, yeah, don't bring don't bring it, man. Quarantine yourself. We, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm I'm halfway through um, with, with with my shots. I got I got one. I think I get my other one. Uh, man, this this week coming up. So oh, man. everyone in my house is fully vaccinated. Got their two shots, and I'm. I'm the only one that's that's still struggling, but you know, tracking behind. But uh, you a bad medicine. brother, man. You a bad man. <laughs> I'm one of the, I'm one of the skeptical ones, man. I'm, yeah. I ain't gonna lie. I'm one of, I'm one of the ones like I'm gonna wait till everybody else get it before I get mine. <laughs> it, 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 I, it's it's all right. Up. It's all no. It's it's all right. Yeah, and, yeah, but you know, yeah. and, and that's the conversation to have, right? I mean, I mean, yeah. especially. Uh, Folks of color, right? We, we've had unfortunate yeah. circumstances and in, in unfortunate situations, Tuskegee, uh, the Tuskegee mm-hmm. experiment, things like that. So I had to have some of that dialogue with folks within my circle as well. But yep. um, this, this, this is uh, this is legit. Uh, yeah. o- only thing, it, it stung for a little bit, a couple of days after. You know, your arm get a little mm-hmm. heavy. I'm just, I'm, yeah. I'm gonna let you know yeah. when, when you get yours. Yeah, I'm just yeah, letting yeah, you know. I'm, I'm <laughs> Let's be real. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get yeah, it because yeah. I mean it's inevitable, and you have to. I'm yeah. going to get it. Yeah. I'm just one of them dudes that's prolonging it as long as I can <laughs> until my wife is like, "Yo, we, now's the day." It's that we, time. We, it's we, that right, time. Yeah, we're we going. So <laughs> you think you go? You think you go into the supermarket, <laughs> right? You think you go to the store get something to eat? And and Nick, no, baby, let's let's go uh, and yeah, turn up in yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, why, yeah, why are we, we going, going to college? Yeah, we're going under this tent real quick. Why we Why we going over here? and Everybody got on mask and and what's going on here? But see, the thing is, though, the good thing about it, man, I I, I think to myself, and, I, and I've been lagging a little bit, but I usually, I typically wear my mask still. I still typically sanitize my hands. Mm-hmm. So I do all the protocol we're supposed to do beforehand. Um, but I've just been, that you know, one, is two things. I'm, I'm scared of needles. I can't stand needles. And two, you know, I'm still I'm still a little leery about the vaccine. You know, we have short-term data, but we don't have long-term data on this vaccine and what it does. So I was like, okay, well, since we don't have long-term data, let me stretch it until we can get as further as we can. <laughs> Why? Why I got to go get? It? <laughs> Why I got to be at the front of the line? You know, let let me be like seventy five percent in. Yeah, you know, I'm I, cool. I, yeah, let me let me rock, let me rock to the back to see what anything makes sure they come I, up. I I, I mad at you, brother. I ain't mad know. at you. It's all yeah. it's all good. You, I mean, if more folks who were on the on the fence had your attitude about it, you know, understood that. Um, uh, look towards the science piece of it, as opposed mm-hmm. to again just. Uh, the, the urban legend piece and, and the stereotype oh, yeah, yeah. piece and all that. I mean, if, if more folks c- kind of came at it from the, from your perspective, I, I think we'd, we'd, we'd be at herd immunity. So I appreciate you and, 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 and props to you oh. on, on, on your, on your stance with it. So, Oh yeah, man, I'm, 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 a, I'm gonna keep it real with you, man. 100%. I'm, I'm just, you're going to be up in there like this, right? You go, yeah, yeah. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> 
Oh yeah, no, I'm I'm gonna bring my little my little stick to bite down on it and turn my head and let them shoot me with it. Uh, and I'm, I'm gonna be all good with that, man. But and I mean, they, and they're gonna be like, I, we done. They're gonna be like, we yeah. done. We didn't already gave it to you. And I'll be like, cool. You, you should. That's what you should have been doing. But but first, but first thing, I was joking with my wife. I'm like, man, first thing I'm gonna ask is this way I could take it orally. Instead of them pop me with that needle. <laughs> Have you got this in some juice? Can can a brother take some Kool Aid for this? Take a spoonful real quick. Yeah, man. Um, but, can I get this but, in I some mean, juice? Please, please. If there's anybody listening, man, I'm not against. I'm not against it. the vaccination. We all we're all gonna have to get it. We're all gonna have to get it in order to survive. So I'm, I'm just one. I'm I'm a procrastinator. It's all um, good, and, I, and I and I and I joke and I joke about it a lot, but I mean it is a serious issue, man. We do need to take we need to get back. My mom and them are vaccinated; they're already nice. taking care of it. Nice. I'm just the one. I'm the one that's lagging, man. It's, it's an individual thing. It's all right, yeah, it's, in, it's yeah. all right. You come around. You you'll get yours. It's all good. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get on the matrix, bro. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna get down. With it. I'm coming. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Uh, let, where we going? Let's let's talk about. We got a couple of football stories to talk about. Mm-hmm. Um, we haven't talked about the NBA. We, we talked around the NBA. We talk. Uh, let's talk. Let's let's talk about that, right? And and okay. then kind of close out with with the football. But NBA right. is doing their thing uh, mm-hmm. without a lot of stars. A lot of yep. stars are down and out right now, right? Yep. You, you got uh, everybody from the Lakers. Uh, <laughs> you got the second team out there right now, and they winning. They won. That what they won last yesterday. I don't know well, if they win it. Well, they, they won. They won yesterday. They, they, they're staying in in playoff contention with, with, without yeah, yeah. without um, yeah. AD and, and LeBron. And um, who came back? Uh, KD came back the other night. You know, yeah. so I mean that's that's good. always good to see yeah. uh, Kevin Durant out there doing his thing. I wish Kevin Durant. I, I, I love him. I wish he would eat some more. Oh, but my yeah, brother's brother, too. You, get a, you need to get in the weight room, man. You need to get yeah, that weight room. Yeah, he, sure. you know, he, he's too. And and I need him to stay off of social media too, because because he, oh, yeah. he he takes everything on Twitter and and everything personal. So I I need him to just focus. But you know, I, who am I to talk? Brother, brother need to read a book, man. He need to read a book and stay, stay off stay off of that. Yeah, yeah, put put that iPhone down. Don't yeah. worry about the TikTok and the and the, and the, and, the, and the hate out there. Just worry about what you got to do. Uh, but talk yeah. to us. Talk to us a little bit about that, man. I mean, I mean, again, I NBA mean, is trying to do their thing, but they're doing it with. Out against star players, so uh, I think that's, you that's, that's okay. Yeah, I'm, I've been watching NBA. I mean, I okay. follow it. I mean, obviously, okay. being in Southern California, the Clippers and the Lakers are always on TV. Mm-hmm. Uh, I love the Bay Area teams. Oh, I should say, I love the Bay Area, the Golden State Warriors, <laughs> and I love SAC. I don't want to confuse you know, people. Oh, that ain't the Bay Area. Yeah, well, I love, I love the Northern California teams yeah, as well. Yeah. Um, but I mean, I think the NBA is doing doing just what the NBA does, man. They've always been able to adapt and adjust to times and situations that go on. If if the LeBron is not the star of the team, they're gonna find somebody else to fit the feature or to make them the star or make them yeah. shine a little bit. So I think they've been a better to be successful in doing that. Um, I think I, I, the turnaround time I think is starting to affect people. The quick turnaround from the bubble situation they had last year to then have to get mm-hmm. into the season mm-hmm. right away. Yeah. I think that's been a kind of effect on a lot of guys' health. I mean, that's a cool. I don't think people understand the rest you need. I mean, you got to play 82 games for those playoffs. It's a lot of basketball you're playing in your body. And then, you know, someone had to play Olympics or Summer League and then turn around and get right back to the lead of the high competitive. I think that's where, where a lot of the injuries are coming in. But, man, the NBA is the NBA. They go, they're going to make money. They're going to do the right thing. They're going to make stuff happen. Yeah. And I think that they're just showing how good they are, how, how resilient they are as far as their business structure uh, is concerned. Right. Now, I think it's going to be different. When the fans come in, because I think guys play different when fans are there. Um, you know that yeah. six man that they yeah. always talk about, that crowd screaming and yelling and heckling you and all that stuff. There's real. That's, that's, a that's whole, real. Yeah, that's real. Yeah, that's a whole different ball game than it is when you playing when there's no seats, nobody in it, like it's a gym. <laughs> like you playing in it, like you playing in the regular league. It's, it's, it's completely different. When, when so, you just I when mean, you just AAU or you know, <laughs> but shout out to the D League too. But yeah, but when when you actually got some real folks in the in the audience, yeah. that's, that's you true. got you got you got fifty thousand people yelling at you, screaming and booing you, and all yeah. that. It's, it's a different kind of game. So I'm interested to see when they get to the playoffs, if it's all opened up, how that six man affects guys that's been playing with no fans all mm-hmm. year. Will that be an effective fact? I mean, it's, I think some guys are going to rise because they feed off of that. And some guys may not so feed off of it because it's going to be a bigger distraction. You know, remember that stadium is hotter because there's people in there yeah. is, is breathing, it's yelling, it's noise. <laughs> they playing in a, in a situation where it's not there. So I'm wondering how that transition, I'm just wondering how that transition is going to happen. Um, I hope it works out for the best, but I'm not. I'm just. I'm. I'm curious. That's that's gonna be a good thing to kind of see and see how it evolves. And I'm trying to think out, out loud here. Were there more fans in Indianapolis for the NCAA tournaments 
right? Because there was there, there was, was a, there was a lot of energy in those in those mm-hmm. arenas during, during when they were playing, and I don't know if it's just again because it's literally larger place, right? So you can spread yeah, yeah. people around or whatever the case may be. And, you know, with NCAA, you got folks literally on the on the court, mm-hmm. the teams as yeah. opposed to anywhere else. So, uh, but but you're right, right? When you actually got, got someone that you're playing for and not just the TV monitors and, and you hear mm-hmm. someone booing you and you hear someone, uh, you know, you got someone with the with the wave and the things in front of you while you're yeah, trying to see the yeah. free throw. I mean that 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 hypes up a lot of folks and uh, Yeah, that's a, it's a, it's it's just a different it's just a different thing. I mean, I hear kids all say I can't I want to play in front of fans. Okay, well, <laughs> for, you got to think for for a year you haven't been playing in front of no fans. Yeah. For a year you've been playing for no fans and all of a sudden you so that's like somebody that's like me taking you James, our, our podcast only got 100 people, and now we're all on the spotlight at College Day, and there's 7,000 people looking at us <laughs> talking. This is just a different this is a different energy, a different thing. So I can't imagine these guys going from playing in a gym with maybe 100 people, just your family there, to now you're going to a stadium yep. field with 25,000, 30,000, 40,000, 50,000 people. Crazy. Screaming either, either, either screaming for you or against you. Yep. So yep. – where where does where does your energy level go? Does it go up? Do you drain yourself because you're so pumped up? Are you out by the end of the first quarter because you're so hyped up? <laughs> I mean, it's gonna be it's going I think that's gonna be more of the roller coaster. I'm excited to see about the playoffs of the NBA. As far as the NBA in general, um, it is what it is, man. Uh, when the star goes down, another star rises. So it's it's, it's that's true. And we've, we've kind of seen that, right? We, we've we've mm-hmm. kind of seen it. So I mean, there hasn't been a, a a lack of of the excitement. There hasn't been a lack of the plays. Uh, you know, you, you still got a lot of a lot of the old school dudes doing their mm-hmm. thing. You see, P three. I heard I heard a good story about him the other day. So I mean, you, you yeah, got, you got um, Tatum. I mean, you got you got the dudes out there in in Boston doing some things. I mean, everyone's still putting up big numbers. You, you yep, got your yep. you got your MVP conversation with with, with Giannis. You got your MVP. You got uh, uh, Embiid, Harden, uh, LeBron, but all those guys have been hurt. So I think Jokic might be the MVP. That's what I'm thinking about. Right Jokic, that's that's the name I was trying yeah, to think of. Jokic. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Jokic come on. might be the MVP. Yeah. yeah. So he can't look. He don't look like he can play basketball. I, that's, but the <laughs> he <laughs> has got. He has got no. You know, one two yeah. tone, right? I mean, he just but but again, seven feet something, <laughs> and he can still make it happen. Yeah, he I mean, can just hoop. That cleans dude, up everything. That, that dude is a baller, but you look at him. But I'm saying, if y'all look at him, you be like, "Yo, this dude, like, don't look, he look like he's just a big dude just standing there." <laughs> what what are you doing here? But <laughs> hey, you know what? Each to each their own, and that's why we love yeah. the sport because everyone fits in where they where they get in. So that, yeah, that, that's that's all good. Yeah, like like I said, that, that's it's, it's good times there. Let me oh let me let me throw this up. You you've been you've been you've been put on blast here, brother. You know, uh, get your shot, wear your <laughs> mask because yeah, I, I I got some family here that that found out not too long ago that they mess around and got and got it. So they they in quarantine uh, right now so we we trying to get them right and we'll, we'll see how that works out but uh oh, that, that's for me that's for me i'm gonna take that i'm gonna take that one i'll yeah, take that one yeah, on. yeah, yeah okay okay <laughs> all right all right i'm with that one i hear you it's i'm being loud and clear on that one it's all good you know we'll have to repeat ourselves um, <laughs> the rock is, yes. is 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 wayne johnson is is, is a decent dude from, he's I, a dude, I, don't, man. I don't I don't know him. But look, you he, know what? He's a decent dude. He's trying to do some moves. things. He making some moves. So I it, it's, it hasn't got a lot of press. I know a lot of people haven't talked about it, but The Rock has tried to is in the process of merging the XFL with the CFL with the Canadian Football League. That I don't think people understand how huge that is for that, that second tier market of professional football players and fans and everything going on. That's going to be a whole nother avenue that will change the platform of how I think college football people are coming out yeah. and even how the NFL is shaped because now there's going to be a, an exchange of players. You know, when you get too older, you get cut from the NFL. This is going to be the alternate league that you can go participate in. That doesn't look like the XFL where it looks like, oh, it may be just 707 or this is going to be an actual 1111 and probably the first in or I would say international, but definitely by country sport. You know, the U.S. will be playing in Canada and Canada will be playing in U.S., vice versa. So this is huge, man. I think this yeah. is huge. And I, I, I wish it would get more press, but this man, man, The Rock, if they, it looks like if anybody's going to compete with him to fail, he's looking to throw his throw his hat in there and, and go for it and go for a fight against those guys. Yeah, I mean, for, for a while, all the other side leagues, right, um, 
couldn't do it. Failed. They they, they, yeah. they they just they they couldn't garner the 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 fans. They couldn't come up with the funding mm-hmm. because what was the name that the guy from WWE tried to do some things. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's who Rock brought it. That's yeah. who Rock brought it. Vince McMahon. He bought the XFL. From that's Vince right. McMahon, the rights. The but rights from them. He wasn't the right person though to to make no. this big of a business deal, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, Vince McMahon yep. was 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 all about entertainment. He was all about you know let, let me have the uh, the firecrackers going off in the middle of the game. <laughs> let let me have you know all, all, all the other pomp and circumstance. Yeah, yeah. Dwayne Johnson talk about let's play some real ball here and let's compete with the same caliber as yep. the, the National Football League and and by merging these two organizations together. Bringing in his sponsors, bringing in his name and his brand, which is, you know, for the most part, pretty, pretty much on point, pretty much impeccable. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I, I don't know if he's everyone's got blemishes, but I don't I don't know, you know, of too many that, so, yeah, that are exactly. out there on, on this dude. Right. You know, I yeah. follow him on social media and, you know, he's talking about his family. All he does is work out. You know, mm-hmm. all he does is make money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I think I think the thing we'll see a lot of a lot of the, the issues with those other leagues that failed is real estate. And what I mean by real estate, they had no place to play, oh, you know, yeah, so you got to yeah. think there's only one NFL stadium in, in each in each area. Most likely, unless you're like in New York, but there's really only one NFL stadium. So NFL is definitely going to give their stadium to a competitor. Doesn't work. That, that, that would just is counterproductive. So it's always been real estate with this merger. It gives them real estate in Canada where they're going to play because those Canadian stadiums are already built there. And where the XFL played were kind of different offshoot stadiums. Yep. Or they had, or they, or they didn't, they went with stadiums that the NFL's guys did not own. Mm-hmm. They were owned by the city. So he's been able to, he's strategically planning where, hey, if the XFL takes off and it does what it's supposed to, we'll have stadiums we can occupy in the United States and have stadiums we can occupy in the Canadian League. Play these, play these players uh, a pretty good feat into the steep, when the lead loads up. And now it's all about the advertisement dollars and that step from that point on. Yeah. Now the money starts to kick in. But I like it from the standpoint that get guys are going to play college football, yeah. Division One, Two, Three, and AI. Now we'll also have an additional platform to take their skills to the next level and earn themselves a little bit more money, where the NFL is not the all, all in all be all. Yeah. Now you have mm-hmm. another alternative that you can kind of go, go, go to, which – Man, I just that's just a huge step. More football for football fans, I think. Uh, and The Rock putting his stamp on it, uh, him as a being the businessman, along with the CFL commissioner putting their stamp on it. I think this is going to be a win-win situation because even if, if you don't blow up in the United States, I'm pretty sure it's going to be pretty big in, in Canada. Oh yeah, oh see, like, to see oh, it, to see American players and American football in Canada is going to be huge. Oh yeah. I mean, and I, I wanted to tie these two stories together, you know, and one about the, Just, the Justin Fields one as well, right? I mean, just again, because yes. we're talking about the draft, and, and mm. again, all these players were, all these players are phenomenal at, at their level, at their rank, at mm-hmm. their in their systems, whatever the case may be. But one two percent of folks make it to the NFL, right? Irregardless of how good you are at, at, at throwing the ball, yep. running the ball, kicking the ball, whatever the case may be. Now mm-hmm. you got this again. This this another quality option that don't 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 sleep on on this option, right? Don't don't sleep yeah. on a, on a merge CFL XFL option because again, you're bringing in the right resource to, again from a, from a business perspective. So you're going to have the advertising, you're, you're going to have the revenue coming in from that, and that's where it all is. Look, I, I mm-hmm. just, everybody just wants their jersey. They just want their name on the back <laughs> of their, of a jersey being sold and getting a cut of that, right? Mm-hmm. You you want your likeness sold. You you want to be on 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 the cover of Madden. Uh, NCAA or, or NFL, mm-hmm. what, what whatever that is, right? That's where you want to get yeah. your money, and you want want to get your your liquor reference or, or in your shoe shoe deal. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you want to go out there and play the game too, and, and make some money off of that, and, and and win championships. But but now again, kind of like we're saying, there's more than one option, and yeah. folks can can actually go out there and and do something. So. Hopefully this is is encouraging, and and I don't know. I hope, but I hope this is encouraging for folks in like like a Justin Fields' perspective who are now getting ready to maybe sign them checks, and the folks who are close on that border who maybe did make that high draft pick, and maybe saying, you know what, I don't want to go in the NFL. I, I may want to go play a bit. I don't I, I don't know I, if that's gonna happen. I, I mean, that's I, I, that's kind of far fresh, but I have, I have even a better perspective. I'm hoping that like the Justin Fields and the Mahomes and them invest in this league. And Ooh. buy teams to become ownerships in these Ooh, leagues. Okay, 
Because we're we're not gonna get a piece of the pie in the NFL's owners. Wow, that's we're thinking not. about the, okay. That's a whole talk to me about that. That's that's thinking. Yeah, now, I'm, now, I'm, now I'm you're talking about I'm real open, wealth. I'm, yeah, I'm open Mahomes and these other and these other these other people, whether black, black or green, I don't care. But I, I, Mahomes just comes to my mind. Mahomes or Jerry or Allen over in, in Buff, Buffalo, the guys that are making money, Dak Prescott, that are making money now. Mm. Hope those guys invest in this league to own their own franchises over there. So now we can have some some wealth in their own franchises. They can help coordinate and build those. Let's be honest. We're not going to get to the NFL level. I don't care what league. The NFL mm-hmm. has a monopoly on football. Mm-hmm. They're they're a, a quadrillion dollar industry mm-hmm. now. But if you don't mind being that second tier and being that hundred million, three hundred million dollar industry, you can build that up. Give guys, give give young men another opportunity to develop their skills to hopefully go to the NFL, make a little bit of coin and retire. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. now we can own those teams, and as they grow, grow, grow. Hopefully one day it can be a competitor in the NFL. We have ownership, whether it be black, white, Mexican, or whatever ownership. But now we can get some guys that could never get their foot in the door to get some majority ownership in a professional organization to help take it over the top. Mm-hmm. Um, that's the way I'm hoping. I hope the Rock and them visualize it that way. I hope the masterpiece of the world that has money invest mm-hmm. in the team. Oh, we can now get some ownerships in those teams in those organizations and help pump this thing up to be a competitor with the NFL. But, you know, you got to be able to crawl before you can walk. So now let's just take it to baby steps and get those guys in there, build it up the way it's supposed to be. And if it explodes, it explodes. If it just many pops, that's better than it never popped at all. Yes. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be a, a great pop for them. But I'm hoping those guys kind of take that that avenue. You know, Darren Fox, if you out there in Sacramento Kings, but go on your football team in the X. You know, you you know, yeah, yeah, you know, you got some cash in the the savings account. You know, you know, my my savings and my checking. You know, (laughs) (laughs) yeah, but but I'm I'm hoping guys like Kevin Hart and those guys, all them become minority owners in this thing. Now we have the things we were complaining about in the NFL, like no blacks ever owning teams or nothing like that. Mm -hmm. Rockets present a whole a, a whole situation where I think we can become owners. We can start to buy a build those yeah, things. Yeah. We can start to build. We, you know, I hear people, why are we playing for the league? We should build our own league. Well, this is an opportunity for us to build our own league if, if that's what we should choose to do. But, I mean, the big the big thing, the guys with big money can get, gather some ownership in this league and help develop it a little more while playing in the NFL. Yeah. I mean, you don't have to play for the team organization because you own them. You just own them and, and, and have a say-so in the way the equity is dispersed to what you're going to get on the team and so on. So, and I think the other part we're missing about the whole thing, there's a whole other revenue stream for coaching to go in that. Administration mm. is going to mm-hmm. go in that league. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, graphic designers are going to go in that league. Internet people are going to go. In, all that's going to go in that league. Uh, uh, communications, you know, for headphones. There's a lot that's going to be invested in that league. I'm hoping that we get a chance to get our get hands on that. the on the get ground floor yeah. and be able to build the whole revenue. We why, we should have some Jerry Joneses in that league. Yes, we should have some guys in that <laughs> league as well. So I, I'm looking at it from that standpoint. I hope it's being built and and portrayed that way because if it is, man, it's a win win for all of us. That's all a good point. Secret. I mean, I, while you were saying that, I was I was thinking about Cube, right, and 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 his three on three mm-hmm. league, and mm-hmm. yeah, I, I know that's still moving, and I know that's still successful. But you know, get folks like that who you know ha- have a couple of dollars to yeah. to to contribute, and again, mm-hmm. you know, the Baron Davises and the Master P's that were out there already talking about uh, building building franchises and things like that. Yeah. And just just those types of folks. Jay Z's out there trying to. So I mean, the the folks that. And I mentioned those particular names because I'm saying the folks that are youngsters look up to. They look up to their parents yeah. as well. Mm-hmm. But, you know, they're the ones who they, they try to emulate or, or they say, you know, these are successful folks look like me. But, you know, they got they got mm-hmm. they got some money as well and doing these positive things. So if the, the Baron Davis is masterpiece, Jay-Z, Ice Cubes, uh, X, Y, and Z's, all those folks can can do something like that. Pull these resources together. And, yes, and, yes. And, and bring it, bring us with him, right? Bring, yeah, bring, yeah. bring, bring some folks. With, let us get a shot at the t- let, like Tyler Perry would do, right? Yeah, <laughs> right, yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. He's another one. I mean, why, yeah. why, why isn't Tyler Perry should own the Atlanta franchise or something like that? I believe the NFL has has its lock, but there's room for another league, another good league, and that league is the first step to a global league, right? For football, mm. if you have it in the United States and you have it in Canada. That opens the doors to be able to play somewhere else because you're you're already crossing the border to be able to participate in, in professional sports. Yeah, I think if that's successful, again, NFL's making billions. There's nothing wrong with us making ten hundred million. You know, ten. You know, us making three hundred million that year. That's mm-hmm. as long as we make that in revenue, and, and we gross that up, we're good. If that's our bottom line, 
So I think there's it's got to be baby steps. It can't be, hey, we're going to get immediate, immediate dividends. It's going to take some time. But, I mean, if you can utilize and market uh, entertainers and utilize and market X, X, X players that people right. look up to, yep. have them invest their dollars in it, that people are going to buy into the brand. And I, I, me personally, I hope they keep it offseason of the NFL. And, and me, I would even keep it yeah. open. So yeah. you play, you play in the kid, you play in this, this merge league, you ball up. If you want to be able, if the NFL is calling you, go. I don't mind being, I don't, I'm going to tell you right now, people don't understand. Uh, Farm League baseball is a billion dollar business. <laughs> baseball is a billion, baseball is a trillion dollar business, right? That's, that's yeah. up, up there. Yeah. Major League baseball. Farm League is a billion dollar. People go to the Durham to go watch those guys play. People go down to Arizona to watch all those farm teams play and compete against each other. Yeah. Why do you think they have farm teams A, B, C, you know, single <laughs> league, double league? Because that's money generated all the way up, and they're getting guys developed, and they go to the major leagues. There's nothing wrong with being that billion-dollar league at the triple triple level, single level, double level. I think it could be the same way in the NFL. There's nothing wrong with being the B league to the NFL, as long as you're making money at the end of the day. That's true. That's true. As long, long as it's, it's all good. Cool. It's, it's, Long, long yeah, as long as, as, equitable, equitable, long as, you, and, long as folks are doing having the opportunity, I, I I really like that. So yeah, so I'm hoping we get an opportunity for ownership and play. So I'm yeah. I'm all with. I'm good with it. I'm good with it. Who you with, boy? Who? Let me. No, who you? Who you with? That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I you know I'm not I, I'm working on my sound system to make sure that yeah. I, I get I get the right uh, you know ad libs in. You, you you need to get the get 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 that Sanford and Johnson. So get the Sanford and Johnson next time. You get put that on in there. I'm, look, uh, well, next week I'll have I'll, I'll have a little Red Fox on here for sure. Yeah, be some Red Fox on there, uh, man. But uh, no, but I'm that that I think that's just a golden opportunity for our young up and coming entrepreneurs and millionaires mm-hmm. that we have especially people of color. Mm-hmm. I think this is going to be an avenue for them to invest in professional organization and have a real say, not just, you know, Hey, I'm a minority owner mm-hmm. or, you know, and I don't really have anything to do. I'm no, I'm the top dog. Votes have to come through me when it comes to the board of directors, kind of like they do in the NFL. And I believe the XFL CFL merger will be man, a, a wide range hit. I think yeah. it'll be hit. I think it'll be a hit. Yeah. I'm, I'm excited to see. I, I hope it, uh, it's, it's getting close, right? It's, yeah. it's, it's, uh, it's it's pretty big deal, and and, yeah. and and the fact that it's actually so close to actually possibly happening is is pretty encouraging, uh, for for everyone that's involved financially and and emotionally and all that. But you know, us fans again see nothing but positive out of this. So hopefully, hopefully yep. something like this does this this come through. So. Uh, bro, we, we touched everything on the planet. Uh, we, 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 we talked about uh, golf. We talked about, you know, yeah. about your boy Hideki out there going and getting his thing. We talked uh, yeah. baseball, basketball. Got me uh, on the COVID, everything. Y'all we, 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 we got you getting your shots and everything. We, we got your. We got everything man. jumping on, man. So, no, nah, man, it's a, it's a blessing, and I'm glad that we're back. I'm glad yeah. we're back. I'm glad we can, t- we can touch some of these issues for the people out there, whether they hear it live or they hear it simulcastly recorded. But, uh, um, you know, you're more of the filter. I'm a more of a guy that's going, I'm trying to just kind of shoot what I got to shoot um, and get it off. So um, I think that it's therapeutic as well as informative. That's what it's all about. And, you know, let's uh, we should talk and, and see what the, the audience thinks as well. You know, timing wise. Right. It's four yeah. o'clock p.m. Pacific time on a Sunday. Is that a, a good time? Uh, because a, a lot of times. Family matters happen. Yeah, yeah, we want to keep our uh, a consistent schedule, but mm-hmm. uh, I, I can't be filming on Mother's Day. I can't. Yeah. Be, <laughs> I can't be filming on Easter. You know, you know those, yeah, those yeah, kinds yeah. of things, right? I'm, I'm, I'm not getting, I'm not getting kicked out of my own house. Uh, I just, feel just, you, man. Just, I'm with just you 100. I'm with you 100. Yeah. yeah. So we'll, we'll consider that, and, and folks, give give us your commentary for sure on that. But I, I love the fact that we bounce off of each other, and then at the end of the day, hopefully, we we enlighten, entertain, and educate folks out there, out there. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, we close it on out, man. Just DMX, man. Rest oh, in peace. That's, in peace yeah, again. man. Look, I tell you, if I didn't get a YouTube strike, I'd play some of his cuts. But um, you know, <laughs> <laughs> y'all. Take care of each yeah. other as well. So from that perspective, right, the fact that we lost this man, we, we, we definitely should not have, uh, like like Laura Williams said at the beginning, check on your people. But mm-hmm. uh, outside of that, Brother Martel, I'm checking in on you. Be good, brother. You too, man. Late. <laughs>